Hey Soy Fam, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Soy here and I'm back with another video for you my Soy Fam. Guys, in this weekly vlog, I'm starting off things by going to drop off flyers that I have for my summer program that I have coming up. It's time for summer camp. Oh my gosh, it seems as if it was just the other day I had the Easter camp. And that was a success. And now it's time to drop off flyers at different business places in the St. George area for them to publicize um for parents to see and everything so hopefully it goes well um i do have the flyers up on my social media handles so if you guys can share it that will be wonderful i appreciate each and every one of you so i'm gonna show a little clips about that and then we're gonna just take it away with this weekly vlog so enjoy all right guys so i'm here in grand dance i just left this little shopping center here where Rick's Cafe and the other places are the pet store. I went to drop off the flyers there. I'm currently walking to make my way to Real Value side um, to drop off the flyer there and other places. So I just wanted to come on and give you an update as to what has been happening. And I'm happy because I'm getting my walk in also. I've been I've been tired but yeah my my glasses keep falling from my face and let me tell you this heat wave is crazy so let me walk and go do this quick to go back home to teach because it is hot it is hot I am here at Spiceland Mall and I'm at Posh Kids and here I have the flyer also so this is a new place so thank you to posh kids thank you for supporting all right to IGA and let's go and see what we have all right it is here at IGA I also put one on the outside part too All right guys, so this is where I'm having my camp, but they're doing some work here currently, so I have to walk across this little part here. They have the sign, and then we go and make our way to the back. So I'm gonna go drop off the flyer and then come back. Whew. All right guys, so that is it. I'm gonna call it quits for today. That is enough dropping off flyers. It is hot. When I left home, it was drizzling. Rain seemed as if it was going to fall for the whole time. And I got to Grand Island and sun is hot as ever. This heat wave is crazy. I'm sweating on the buses. On the buses. It's, uh, it's a mess. But, um, yeah. I'm going to keep putting on the flyers. And I think this year I want to put up an add on the radio. To attract more people. But... I'm gonna see the costing and everything to do that and see how things goes. And then you guys are gonna see, obviously you're gonna see because I'm gonna vlog some of the days and some of the weekly vlogs that I do. Ooh, you can't even see me. I'm John Cena, you can't even see me. Anyways, that's it for this part of the vlog. Let's go see if I can walk up this entire road there to get a bus. Let's cross the little bridge again. And now it's time to go. Oh, look at the bus all the way up there. Oh no. Anyways, let's see. Oh, it stopped. Let's see if it will come all the way back. All right, guys. See ya. All right, gorgeous people. So I am back home and whew, I'm hot. Oh, gosh, this heat to every grenade is crazy. Anyways, I'm home and I just wanted to let you guys know something that I've been planning. Right, it's coming up on three years being on YouTube and I've been thinking about ways that I can grow the channel or ways that I can put out content for you because originally if you have been looking at me from the beginning you know I've been putting out content based on me okay for memories and things that I want right and I've been asking here then everywhere for people who want to see different things and I've got some replies um, both privately and in the comments 
and I am trying to actively put a list together so I can fulfill these requests yet trying to put a new element towards the channel so originally it's Grenada it's anything that's going on with me it's updates it's um, family stuff it's um, challenges it's all different things I have here it's a TV that's why it's called Soila TV you know so it's TV in the end so I was de I decided um, that I would do this um, I know podcast style stuff so it's not gonna be a podcast podcast I don't think maybe it's gonna develop into something like that but for now it's just gonna be podcast style where I do um, different segments in one video and it's gonna be one long video maybe 40 minutes maybe um, an hour I'm not sure but it's gonna be this long video where I post it once a month um, and just doing that style so I do have certain things that I want to put in that so like um, show recommendation like dilemmas um, question of the week you know things like that just topics that I want to discuss um, that is going on and different things so this is something that I am putting new towards the channel so I'm excited and I'm I can't wait because as you guys know May and June is kind of like the year the not the year the month that I started um, May was supposed to be the month that I upload my first video but because of different things um, I o end up uploading in June so June is technically um, the time when I take three years and that's soon so that's when I want to start it so I think I'm gonna because I post on Thursdays and I post w once a week I think the last Thursday in each month that is when I'm gonna upload this video so I just want to come on here hop on here tell you guys this and and yeah I just want to just grow the channel now now that I have been putting out content for me and then I have um, people who have been subscribing and enjoying the content now it's time for me to put out stuff for you guys so if you have any ideas reach out to me on Instagram um on snapchat uh on in the comments on youtube here just reach out to me and let me know all my stuff is going to be on the screen for you to go follow me and support and then you can reach out to me it's always good to reach out on me reach out to me on instagram though because i think i reply more there um i won't give you my numbers whatsapp would not work so instagram is key so follow me guys all right so that's the end of this segment of the video let's take in the rest of the clips from this vlog hello beautiful and gorgeous people welcome to a new day so today actually i am going to town and shop for um some groceries um i have two friends and i put together to buy some groceries for a past teacher of ours um, who is in need for different reasons. I don't want to put too much out here, but we put together and I'm going to shop at the supermarket to get some stuff. So I'm going to take you along with me, just give a little montage about that. And then I have to come back home, drop off the groceries and then get ready to go back to town because I need to go to the hospital. Finally, finally, I have my um, appointment to see the maxi official because it has been a very long time um, because they didn't have one then one came and I told her she needs to stay because every time somebody's always going and then she's like yes I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay I'm here now and then books when you think about it she left she left and then they took forever to get one and finally I'm going to see that one today I don't know if it's a male I don't know if it's a female but I'm going and hopefully that one stay so they can see the progress because whenever they switch like that then they can't see like what is happening and and give me a, a good um what what is the word a good breakdown as to what is going on with me and it's frustrating <sighs> anyways i have that to do today and then when i come home i have to teach online um but that's basically it so come along with me let's get content to put in this vlog
Hi guys, so I went and I'm back home. Well, I'm leaving now actually to get the bus to go to the hospital because it is 12 29 and I have to reach for one. So I need to go in time. So I'll see you when I get there. All right, update guys. I've been here in the hospital for I got to you five past one. Now it's 2 47 and I'm still waiting to see the Massey official. So, I don't know how long again I have, but that's what it is like when you come to the hospital. It's always a long wait. But let's see. I'll keep you updated. Alright guys, so I am back home from the hospital. And I'm about to start to teach um, in the next 10 minutes. So let me quick make this um, here. I feel like every time I go to the hospital, I am so emotional. Like, like I always like tears build up. But when I get back home, then I'm like so over it. It's like I don't know. So this is what happened. I went to the hospital, spent hours there waiting for the Maxio official to come or to see me, right? <clears throat> and the Maxio official took a while. Um, I people who were there um after me got to see the maxi official because they were sick or whatever i don't know but they say that person needs to see me because that person is ill fine whatever i wait for my turn when i get in there obviously there's a new person a new doctor and obviously they speak spanish so i don't have anything with um spanish speaking people right what i have a problem is is that we employ these spanish speaking people to come and deal with people who speaks English and then you have to sit there and wait for them to find the words to tell you what is going on with you on top of your stress level that you already have and it's like oh I just want to scream I just want to cry I just want to it's just frustrating so I got through that whole bit it obviously he had somebody there who could speak English so they can translate right however and then they had another doctor there who was not even a part of it and they're just speaking spanish they're looking up on the phone exactly what medication they want to give me they're looking up on the phone to find out the actual name for the stuff it's just a lot and uh, i just feel like i'm screaming i feel like um i don't know i just wanted to give you guys an update because i just am fed up i am fed up of trying to figure out what is going on with me and when i get there to my appointment it's like they don't know what's going on with me the notes are there from the previous people they're not agreeing with the stuff that's there they're asking me if i want to do surgery i already did two surgeries so there's no way i want to do a third surgery and then and i'm not even sure if you're gonna know what's going on with me because to you based on the surgery i did what they're saying the what they said i have you're saying no i would not do it i am just tired anyways I got three sets of medication. So on top of me being anxious, being upset, being annoyed, um, being emotional generally, I have to spend a ton of money that I don't have for medication. And then guess what? I have to go back in two weeks. I have to go back in two weeks so they can see how it's going. You understand? <sighs> I am fed up. Guys, when you see people on the street smiling, just don't take it as if all is well because i don't know i am on the streets smiling when i am going through all of this turmoil and it's crazy i sorry i'm venting but just just be kind to one another when you see people on the street and you see they're looking good or you see them like they don't have any illness so you see them like if you know they're smile on their face and they're they're you think that they're happy and everything is cool just know that sometimes everything is not cool because i know i put all that persona out there and i'm always trying to be positive but this is getting to me that is not the only thing that that's just for the lesion on my tongue what about my throat that is constantly in pain or in constantly i have to be drinking water and constantly being in state of discomfort that's just some of the things like uh, I feel like I'm babbling on and on and on to the camera, but that's how I vent because I don't like to tell people What's going on with me, but I need to start because people would see you and think like oh, you're good You and they don't know the turmoil and things are going on. So 
long story short they don't know what's going on with me they don't know the name and they're giving me medication to see if that's going to help basically basically so i'm still stuck at level one where my life have ground flow i'm still stuck there and no upward um on this so all right guys so the the um phone died when i was venting but that's gonna be it for this video guys it's a lot going on just remember to be kind and pray for people okay so with that being said please remember to stay safe and stay blessed and i will get to see you guys in the next video to the loo